We're talking to Roy Jones Jr., uh, the former uh, champion of the world in a few categories, one of the best fighters in the history of boxing, and now the rival uh, has changed, not uh, David Kostetsky, but Pavel Gwazewski. Uh, what is the difference? You mentioned that you watched several fights of Gwazewski. What are his strongest weapons? Well, his strongest weapons, he throws a lot of punches, it seems, and uh, you know, he's, a very, he's a guy who hasn't lost. That's the main thing. The biggest thing is his mental state. He's never lost a fight. So for him, he, he's not used to losing. He don't know what losing is. He's not going to accept losing very well because he's never lost before. So he's going to put it all on the line. When you fight a guy like that, he's dangerous because he has everything to gain and nothing to lose. He wasn't supposed to be here anyway. But since he's here, by the way, I've never lost. It's the way he looks at it, so why should I lose now? How could you compare them directly as far as their boxing skills? Will there be an easy attack task for you on Saturday or just um, or the level is the same practice? I think it's pretty much the same except that the mental part will be a little tougher because he's never lost. Because Steck has been down his loss before. This guy never lost. So there's a little bit different. His mindset will be a little different. Style-wise, they're pretty similar. They're not far apart as far as styles go, but mentally it's different. It was said that uh, your plan, your current plan in the professional boxing is gaining the, f uh, the title in the cruiserweight division. Uh, you didn't have one in the in cruiserweight division, but today you didn't mention the surname of Krzysztof Wodawczyk, but if you defeat uh, Gwazewski, uh, do you plan to fight Wodawczyk for the WBC belt? Most definitely, that's my next step. If I beat Gwazewski, that's my next step. They say we want to do a trifecta, that's what we're going to do. So definitely you want to, there are plans to, to have another fight in Poland. There are plans to have two more fights over here. I'm going to make Poland my home for a minute. <laughs> you know, I'm going to come sit down this thing, give them the best of the last that I got, and I call it a day. There was, uh, it was said about trifecta, but uh, the first fight, obviously, Gwazewski, then what I about the heavyweight division yes. also? Yes, the heavyweight division also, that's where I ended it. What is your private ranking of the fighters of the cruiserweight division right now? Uh, who's the best one? I don't know. You know it's kind of hard to say, but I'm not really concerned about which one's the best. I just want a title. And they say, okay, well, Poland says, you know, we have a guy over here that has a title. You come beat one of our first guys, we'll let you fight our guy for the title. That's what I came with. Don King, Don King has one other champion, you know how hard it is to deal with Don King. And the other champion is in Germany, and you know how hard it is to get a decision in Germany. So it's like, you know what, Poland was the best out for me. Uh, what can you say about the situation, the strange situation of Antonio Tarver? And, uh, you know, there are also a few fighters who have uh, this kind of problems recently. Yeah, a lot of, you knew it was going to spread into boxing soon. I'm surprised it didn't spread quicker, it didn't start quicker. And now, what that did to me was, it almost took me off my track because I was like, wow, he doing that? So maybe that's what he used when he fought me. So now, get him clean, I want a rematch, <laughs> you know? But I can't let that step in the way of what I'm doing over here because I have a job I already committed to over here in Poland. I had a three-fight deal I want to do in Poland, and I want to fight for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. But now after that, I was going to retire. But because I found out he'd been dirty, if I find out there's any inclination that he made was dirty when I fought him, then make him get clean and give me my rematch, because now he got a problem. How do you remember your, fights, your fight against Denis Lebedev in Moscow? Uh, it was, he won obviously, there was a knockout, but uh, it was, you were close to, uh, to also beat Lebedev. Yeah, and, and Lebedev is a fight I should have beat. The only problem I had with the fight with Lebedev was, I had a, late, a year layoff, and I didn't realize it before I even took the fight because when somebody challenged me, I'm not used to saying no, but there was a year layoff. I should have got a tune-up fight before I fought Lebedev. Then he never would have knocked me out. Yeah, without the year layoff, I easily beat Lebedev. And what can you say about this uh, knockout of Denis Lebedev? Uh, there was, it was a strange situation because he, mm, there was no necessity to uh, uh, dealing another blow. Yeah, he threw another blow that he didn't have to throw. And that's why I want a rematch, but they, wouldn't, they didn't want to let me fight him again because they knew I want him and they knew I'm going to beat him. So, you know, I, when I get the title, he'll want the title. That's, that's the other thing that, that, that drives me to get the title because when I get the title, he'll want a title shot. Then I get my leg back. Tomorrow you have uh, media training in Warsaw. What can we expect? What do you plan to show? Can't show too much. I got to fight. You know, so I can't show my point too much. Just do a little jump rope, a little shadow boxing, a little work on the pads. And that's it. I can't do a whole lot.